Hello stampers, this is super awesome stamper Shirley Merker. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Wisconsin, USA. Thanks for joining me today to make your diorama kits in the mail. These are the two kits that I'm offering for the September 16th, 2023 Craft Along with One of a Kind. Sorry I can't be there in person to demonstrate live with you. I've got a commitment that takes me away from my stamp room today. So let's get started. These are the two kits that we're making. And here are the additional supplies that you will need to finish your kits. So some kind of sentiment stamp set. I'm using a couple sentiments from the Coordinating Earthen Texture stamp set. I'm adding the Early Espresso Clipso Chloro ink pad. All your favorite adhesives, including something that's kind of tight. We gotta seal that box top or box tab. So I'm using tear and tape using some glue dots to attach all the embellishments, dimensionals, your favorite tape runner, paper snips to fussy cut all your fun little shapes, bone folder, and if you purchase a kit from me, you do not have to do this step. All of your card bases come cut and scored die cut openings in the front, but if you're crafting along, you're gonna start with an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock, and you'll be scoring at Four and a quarter, five and a quarter, nine and a half, and ten and a half inches. Now, if you purchase a kit from me, all these dimensions with the scoring and cutting will be included in your PDF, emailed PDF that was sent to you. So, if you're crafting along, you're going to do the scoring and then you're going to cut this at four and a quarter along the eight and a half side, and you'll make two pieces of card base from that. And just to show you from that eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock, when you score it as I just directed you, cut it at the four and a quarter mark, you'll get two card bases off of one sheet of eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. I got everything tucked in a cello envelope for you. Let's bring this back in. And with the Earth and Textures kit, like I said, everything is already die cut. So just open up your package and see what you got. This is our card base. So I've already got it scored, already die cut in your opening for you. Let's move this stuff off to the side. And let's add some adhesive. So I'm always gonna work on that right hand side. We're gonna put a piece of adhesive on that tab. So I use my tear and tape. You're gonna to wanna to use something that's rather sticky. Place that there. Now grab your bone folder and start burnishing those score lines. four score lines to burnish and you should wind up with your adhesive on the inside inside of the box okay so I'm always gonna work with that adhesive and tab on the right side of the screen so just like that see here's the tab on the back so before we adhere that tab though we're gonna assemble some of the pieces so grab your DSP, decide which side you want up. This shape was cut using the stitch shape die cut, making a square. And on the inside, I do have this, oh, I don't know. It kind of looks like a cave drawing actually to me. That facing up with a square over it. But first I am going to do some stamping. So I cannot include the sentiment stamping or any kind of image stamping. So that's when my kits have are heavy on die cuts and ribbons and pattern paper. So the coordinating stamp set that I'm using today is the stamp set that coordinates with the dies that I use. So the earthen textures dies. I'm going to use your proof there's good in the world. I'm gonna put that in the bottom right corner and we're I hope that I get it straight. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, and I use the Early Espresso ink pad for that. I wanted it to just show up. The uh, black, like a memento, would be a good choice as well. Okay, 
and tear that down. Doing a square upon a square. Now this piece is placed just centered on that tab, tab or backing. Okay, and then everything else will go on the outside. Now, what I want you to do is flip it over and kind of force all your score lines where you want them. There's a little buckle there. So I'm gonna press that down. And then this one, we're gonna wanna force over and make sure that folds over the card base, because that's where we're gonna seal it shut. So now flip it back, uh, pull off the adhesive, and then flip it down. And you wanna make sure that this is flat because otherwise it's not gonna fold flat into your envelope when you mail it. Now, if you hold it up, there's your diorama. Okay, now next is gathering all those little die cut pieces that I did for you. All the pattern paper is from the Earthen Textures uh, pattern paper pack and coordinates with the suite. And then these foils are from the Rose Gold suite. This is the um, this ribbon is called a nat natural quarter inch wavy trim. I included more than what I had in my sample. And then you've got coordinating sequins there. So let's just start adhering things. Grab your face favorite adhesive. If you prefer to work with liquid glue, that's a good option too. Place that at the bottom. And then I suggest that you place adhesive on your frame. Kind of place your die cut and decide where you want to put your die cut on the frame and add some adhesive to the frame. Because we do not want adhesive like over on this side of the die cut because if you put it on that side, press it down, you're going to adhere your card shut closed. Okay. Next is going to be the foil. You can position that however you want. I am actually gonna grab some glue dots because this is an odd shape. Glue dot at one, at two, maybe three and four. Two. You could do every fin if you want. Three. Four. Let's do this one as well. Again, you just wanna put glue where the tips of the fan will hit your diorama. If you put it down here, where the stem hits the fan, you're gonna glue your diorama shut. Don't wanna do that. Okay. And then next are twigs and our Ooh, I don't know what that is. Another sprig. So lay it flat, put some glue here. Place your sprig where you want it. Place this over that. I want that actually kind of straight on. And then this is a two piece pot. So the handle needs to be glued over that. For this, I will grab my liquid glue. And I just want a little stream right there. A little stream, a little line. And just line up the edges of that. Just make a custom pot there. Okay, and that will go over the picks, those are called floral picks, I guess. Cover up your adhesive. And then, oh, we got some more things here. We got this ribbon, which is secured through the center and unravels when you cut it apart. 
So what I did to make sure I didn't have unravelies and I had secure pieces, find the end that is already unraveled. Hold it in your one hand. So I need two of those circles. Snip it at the cinched point. Find your glue dot and secure that cinched and end down. And that will kind of keep it in the cinch shape. And then I'm gonna put another glue dot. Oh, I got one right there. Over that other one right next to it. Kind of cinch it together on that glue dot. Now it's sticking on my finger. Pull it off. Not gonna glue the frayed side. There. And then this one's got the same kind of uh, look. One end is frayed, the left end is frayed, and the right end is not. So snip that off, find a glue dot, secure it down so it stays in that nice cinch shape. Grab another glue dot. And add a glue dot and that other circle. Semicircle, not semicircle, oval. And that, oh, I can see that tipped a little bit. I've got a pot that the handle's kind of moved on me, it looks like. Oh, there's that optical illusion. Okay, and that I put at the bottom. Do I want to put it up here? Well, we'll do in two different looks there. Okay, now I didn't use all of this is extra ribbon for you to use somewhere else, maybe on the back of your card. Uh, I did some sequins kind of all over the place. So the darker ones at the top to kind of balance the tones. I did one of the larger ones. Two of the smaller ones. And I was going to grab my strip here that I've already used some off of. And then large one and a small one. And then over here, you can decide where you want to put this. How about right over the cinch? The bottom of the drip down there. No, I'm going to do it right over the cinch. And I think I'm going to do it that bright or the dark. I shouldn't say bright. It's more burnt orange. This is more the chocolate color. I like the burnt orange. There we go. All right. So that's the first diorama. All assembled. Sample card and the one I assembled with you. I decided after filming that the back side of this Earthen Textures card needed a very vanilla 4x4 square. So this is just a simple decoration. Attach the 4x4 square and put the rest of the ribbon on the bottom. Kits in the mail are designed exclusively by me using current products. They change each month, so go to my blog at superawesomestamper.com, look for the kits in the mail icon, click on it, and you'll get all the details for the latest kits. Before we assemble the second kit, I'm going to do a quick catalog tour to show you where all the products are that I used to make my kits. So, Les Shops is part of the sweet collection. I use the pattern paper. Just right there. It's got several different patterns of all different shops. So hopefully you should have received the pattern that I'm showing in the video, but you might receive the alternate patterns as well. Like I said, that's a pattern, there's a pattern, and there's a pattern. So I think there were nine options of shops in that pattern paper pack. Here's the Earth and Elegance Suite. 
I use the pattern paper. I use the ribbon. And the foil is not part of the suite, but it certainly coordinates with it. And then the dies I used as well. Oh, that one I mismarked, I think, because I was looking for Simply Sam's. Okay, the rose gold paper that I used is number four, and you get uh, uh, three different finishes, two of each finish, iridescent, matte, and metallic. I could not tell you which one is included in your kit because uh, they all look very similar, but they're very pretty. All right, and the pattern paper that I use is the Earth and Elegance for the kit we just made. Kit coming up is from Le Shops, right down there. The sequins that I used are the natural adhesive back sequins. Right here, you get four different colors in a pack. And the ribbons that I used are the natural quarter inch wavy trim on the kit. We just assembled the Earth and Elegance. And then for the second kit, I'm using the ribbon duo combo pack in petal pink. And then the dies, the dies that I didn't mark, I'm using the stitch shapes. Wait a minute, hang on. Let me look at that, let me bring it in. Reason, I use these two shapes, the largest square and the largest circle from the stylish shapes dies, that one right there, to, to cut the openings already in your cards. And, I'm going to pull in the stamp set. So there's the stamp set that I took the verses from that are on both the cards. Here are all the dies that I used in your kit, and here are the rest of the dies included in that die set. And these two items, the stamp set and the Earthen Textures die set, come as a bundle price if you use that bundle item number that's shown in the catalog. All right, let's move on and assemble our second Le Shops kit. So your kit will come in these white envelopes. I can tuck two kits in the envelope. They're in those cello, um, cello medium bags, so I can tuck two of them in. You'll also get an assortment of pattern paper. So if weight and thickness allows, I like to tuck in some extra pattern paper from either the packages that I'm cutting from or some additional packages I just have extras of. All right, so this is the second kit. Isn't it cute? All right, let's assemble the Le Shops kit. Here's what would be included in your kit. A strip of these mini houses. You're gonna cut those in half and use a strip at the top. The four by four inch squares, don't have to do anything with. You will need to fussy cut your shapes and fussy cut your houses and your sandwich boards. Give you an extra bit of ribbon and sequins to play with as well. And your card base is already that cut for you. So here is the card. Got the yellow on the back for you to write a message on. What's inside is the mini houses. You're gonna fussy cut a house and fussy cut everything else. So I have everything fussy cut already. So you don't have to watch me cutting everything. So we're just gonna go through the steps again. Burnish our score lines. I get so excited to assemble my box, I forget that you should insert your inside panel first before assembling your box. So do as I say, add your inside panel first and then form up your box. Don't do as I do as I'm doing right now. And grab your tear and tape. Adhere your inside panel first before ripping off that tear and tape and forming up your box. Do it now. Fold your card back. Fold it up. So we want to see our tear and tape and what we want to make sure will happen is this will fold over that edge of the card so that it will lay flat when you want to mail it. So you might have to force that score a little bit because of that. Now pull off your adhesive, the strip protecting the adhesive, and press that down. Oh, now I already did something that I didn't want to do, which was, I got ahead of myself. I got a little excited. Um, well, let's, let's just go with it. 
but if you're watching me, I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest attaching the back until you've got the inside in there. It's just, you're just gonna have to do a little bit of jiggling if you are following me exactly. Okay, the inside is going to be this piece, and then whichever building you want. Let's do the bread one. My sample card we did the ice cream shop. And to add my sentiment, which is from the Earthen Textures stamp set. Going to pull out my Clipso Coral ink pad and a stamp on the awning and cross my fingers that I get it straight. Oh, wow. That, that's really good, really straight. Okay, now when you fussy cut, you got a lot of these end pieces and I just wanted a little bit, a little bit of that with, for the, with gratitude. Okay, Clipso Coral ink pad is what I used to finish that off. Now, and then, if you got ahead of yourself like I did, you just gonna have to squish that in there and center it as best you can. Kind of looking through the side. Okay, what else do I have here? Oh, I included your circle, but I didn't use it this time. You could have certainly put it in there and put your building on the back. That would have been cute too, um, but that's extra. I didn't use it. The other shop, so you'll, you'll get three shops, but the other shop in this sequence is the ramen noodle shop. Okay, so, so I'm not gonna use that for this kit. You'll have two shops to use with your own supplies if you like to do that. All right, I already fussy cut my sandwich board. I'm gonna put some bread here. I like the fork there. Gave you a two, two rows of these mini houses. So you have to cut uh, the row off, either row and Add it to your card. I'm looking for my dimensionals here. Supplies always kind of run away. Just center that on the card front. Okay, get your fussy cut scissors out. These are paper snips. We do sell those. They're super sharp, super pointy. So if you have them, just be careful when you use them. They're also good for picking up embellishments. Maybe I'll do that. Uh, uh, if you can't find your take your pick tool or I wonder should I put it down there this time? Yeah, let's do that. We're doing something a little different so you get an idea. A couple of different ways to finish your kit. Give a little depth and dimension. All right, so this is just what's on the back of that. That's kind of cute. That scrap that out of the way. You will need to tie your ribbon in a bow. Tie it as small as you can. Put it on a glue dot. Put it on your card. Now I don't mind that it's overhanging on the right side because when I mail it I will squish it down so it, the tails won't get... I squish it to the left so the tails won't get smushed in the envelope. All right, dimensionals again. Let's pop some stuff up. Bottom of the bread, top of the bread, but not this side. Not this side, because that's where the diorama circle is. Again, if you purchase a kit from me, everything is die cut for you and scored. All the measurements for the diorama, including 
13 additional styles in this design are in the emailed PDF that is included with each purchase. So I give you 13 more ways to decorate additional dioramas to just get your ideas flowing. I'm gonna pop the sandwich board up on the dimensional. Now you only got two sandwich boards in your kit. That's just because that's how I could divvy it up. They didn't allow, they didn't have enough for, they only had six sandwich boards per pattern paper sheet. Let's, let's say, tell you that way. So I can only include two in your kit. So sorry if you're disappointed on that, but you can certainly purchase a pattern paper pack for me to get more sandwich boards work with. All right, now last is our sequins. These gold ones I didn't use, although they might look nice with the bread tones. I like the white with the white awning there. I, I think I still like the white, you know, I like the contrast. I don't know, should bread have some sequins on it? That I'm unsure of. How about we put one right here? So it's not actually on the bread. The ones on the ice cream, I can tell myself those are um, not Jimmy's. Those are sprinkles. Okay, one there. Let's see, where else am I going to put another one? Let's do a smaller one. Let's do a smaller one right there. So we got three things over on the left. And then let's do a smaller one right there. Three things on the left, three things on the right there. So we've assembled both of our kits. And again, you'll get three shops in your kit but not supplies to make three complete shop cards. So you'll have to add your own supplies to create a uh, the second and third shop. And the third shop, like I said, was the ramen noodle one. Okay, but you may get, there's a total of nine different shops in the whole pattern paper pack. So you may get different shops in your kit, especially if you purchase my four kits for $18 deal. Otherwise, it's two kits for $10, which includes the PDF tutorial. Okay, so those are the two that we made right now. And then the um, the other one that I included in the tutorial is this one. This has got a lot of stamping, of course, which I couldn't include in your kit. So the sheer milkshake in the purple and with that a lovely little dollop of whipped cream, kind of ice cream that's melting at the top. I love this one because I love purple. All right, so thank you for uh, purchasing kits for me. If I still have kits, they would be available on my blog at superawesomestamper.com. Look for the kits in the mail icon or the one-of-a-kind icon and click on that and there will be a link for the kit details. If I'm out of physical kits, uh, you will still be able to purchase the PDF for me and that's a super great deal as well. All right, I am going to clear off my desk and I will be showing you a few more things before I sign off today. My last video segments will feature highlighting the programs that I offer through my virtual business. So the first opportunity that's coming up will be my online retreat during World Card Making Day. We're actually having Zoom calls on Friday night, October 6th and Saturday during the day on October 7th. It features 18 craft along demonstrations, so two projects with nine demonstrators across the globe participating. We've got a few from Australia, a few from Canada, and a few from the United States. Included with each ticket purchase is a PDF idea file with all the measurements, supply items, and photos. So you can cut your projects or your supplies before the Zoom calls or uh, you can assemble your kits while you are watching the YouTube assembly videos. If you register by September 22nd, I will mail you a pillow gift, which is a fun little surprise in your snail mailbox. 
Registration for this event is $20 for one ticket and $32 for two tickets. So invite a friend and split the cost. I can mail pillow gifts separately. So I can mail one to one address and one to another address. Just let me know when you make your uh, ticket purchase to send the second pillow gift to a second address and what that address is. All right, so that online retreat, I will be featuring the Autumn Leaves stamp set along with the coordinating dies. This is a new bundle in the September to December catalog. And here are a few cards made using with that bundle. So I just get die cut happy and I sit and just roll my dies through the machine. Many passes, pull up my scrap pieces and make a lot of little images. I love the little leaves that are included in this kit. These smaller dies are great for using up scraps when you're cutting those larger shapes as well. We're on the projects that I'm demonstrating in that event would be this woven or wavy trim ribbon. New in the September to December catalog is this gorgeous paper. It's single-sided white on the other side. But we've got the turquoise blue shiny, two pieces of those and two pieces of this copper. It is called the oxidized copper paper. And following along with the kind of fallish theme in the annual catalog, we've got the earthen textures stamp set and coordinating dies. And here is a sample card using the pots and some of that copper or oxidized copper paper, the earthen textures designer series paper. And let me swipe this aside and kind of show you earthen textures designer series paper so you get six sheets two patterns of each and it's double-sided this pattern I've totally used up so there's that pattern and then top pattern so it's double-sided I show you both sides here so kind of in the burnt orangish colors and the warm blue colors this is great for a scrapbook and cut this off and make a scrapbook page and have that be a border Got blues on one side. Here's great for making those pot drips. So I included the pots cut in the diorama kits that you just assembled with me. And then this last pattern, last pattern is like this tweed, and the opposite is this um, mauve kind of crosshatch. And I'm going to show you where those products are in the catalog. I'll do a really quick catalog tour. So Earthen Textures, the sweet. Earth and Elegance, the suite, is on page 70 and 70 weighted, 71 of the annual catalog. So if you like all the products in the suite, make sure you purchase using the suite item number. It's just an easier thing to do than entering three or four different item numbers. And then the bundle as well, if you like the bundle. Usually it's a stamp set and die set. In this case, it's a die set. Use that bundle item number to make your purchase and you'll get 10% off the individual products and then here's that pattern paper on the top and the ribbon I flip this back and show you here is the earthen textures bundle on page 157 so in the catalog we have all of the bundles that are 10% off listed 10% off when you purchase the using the bundle item number all right and then The next pages are the ones that are no longer bundle price. They may or may not have a coordinating punch or stamp set to go with them. And then there are the embossing folders. My next program is called Fantastic Fun Folds. So here is a tri trifold shutter card. And this program features PDF tutorials with detailed instructions photos and measurements. In addition, there will be 12 different cards included. So you can see this style decorated using 12 different uh, products from our catalog. So this is what this one looks like. It's a tri shutter. Uh, this is an upcoming one called Flying Seagull. So that'll be included. This is the one for this month. Opens like this. This is an upcoming one as well. It's called a hexagon box. 
So the Fantastic Fun Folds program is one fancy fold tutorial a month in your email inbox. Look for this icon on my superawesomestamper.com blog for more information on ordering my Fantastic Fun Folds monthly tutorial bundle. My next product feature are the Beer Christmas Sweet Collection from the September to December catalog. This collection features these pre-printed envelopes, a nice large size, and coordinating card bases, so you can decorate those up white on the inside. There's 20 of each in that package. Included in this suite is the Snowflake Sky 3 embossing folder. And then these embellishments, these are called the Adhesive Back Glitter Sequence. Adhesive Back, so easy adding on. These are different parts in different parts of the fall catalog, but they certainly would color coordinate with this suite or any kind of fun uh, fall. This would be a fall theme, and this is more of a snow theme. It's got those brighter tones. And then this is the Berry Christmas pattern paper. So lots of graphic bright colors, I would say, in the fallish colors. Look at that fun pattern. Trees, if you like trees with the polar bears, Nordic print, winter critters, snowflakes, fabulous pre-printed scrapbook page, another Nordic print, and more of the polar bears. So that is the Berry Christmas Suite. It's in the September to December catalog, page 22. I'll continue with the snowflake theme. So in the new fall catalog, we've got the spark sparkling snowflakes stamp sets, photopolymer, and the coordinating tag punch. And then what would go perfect with those products would be our new Snowflake Magic 12 by 12 inch paper. You get two sheets of each of these. It's just white on the back side. So nice and sparkly, easy to add snowflakes to your project. And here is the bundle on page 39 of the September to December 2023 catalog. My next program is my bundle bonus program. So if you purchase the bundle of products, I email you a PDF uh, idea file showing you lots of ways to use the bundle you just purchased from me. So we've got a different bundle each month. And this, this bundle this summer, it was a bundle carryover, although not bundle priced, is the color and contour. So that's my sample for that program. Upcoming, we've got the beautiful balloons bundle. So that is the September bundle. So if you purchase the Beautiful Balloons bundle for me, I'll email you the PDF idea file showing you lots of great projects that you can use your Beautiful Balloons bundle on. So here are a few. Oh, I didn't line the inside. Kind of the fish theme, that go on fishing theme. I got a little crazy using the new Misty Moonlight Blue as well. And this is this strip right here. It makes all of these uh, gashes. So you could cut off that edge right there and just kind of make it frilly. I left it intact on both sides so I could easily glue it down. Two past bundles that we've had would be the brand new circle sayings and the coordinating new circle punch. That's two and three ace inch punch. And then the Hello Ladybug we've had in the past as well. Here are some samples using those products. So the ladybug with the circle punch and then the stamp set as well. This pattern paper is from the Delightfully Eclectic collection. Lots of fabulous patterns in that paper pack. And it's a large paper pack as well. Got some ladybugs going across there. And this pattern isn't, isn't that Delightfully Eclectic. That's just a real quick card. And then this was a feature recently in my kits in the mail. It was a full step. It's also part of the Fantastic Fun Folds tutorials. So if you missed purchasing the kits in the mail from me, uh, you can purchase that Fantastic Fun Folds tutorial bundle and you'll get that PDF uh, tutorial in your email inbox. And then there are other punches for that. I love Halloween and I have yet to make any samples using this Halloween pattern paper, but this 
uh, sheet has all of these easy backgrounds. Could be for cards or scrapbooks. And then the opposite side, it's got a bunch of boos and eeks. Skeletons, this great um, print that could be used for, I'm thinking, Thanksgiving cards. Opposite side, we've got tombstones. Great Thanksgiving, fall, cozy, pumpkin spice mug feel. This has got little bones on it. Opposite side is the skeletons. Another great scrapbook, instant scrapbook backer. Cut it in half and you've got instant um, backgrounds for the bottom of your scrapbook pages. These are bats. Can you see that? There, can you see it now? Never had a pattern like that before. This bright blue and then mini bats right there. So that pattern picker paper pack is called Them Bones. And included in that collection are these glow in the dark self-adhesive embellishments. Them Bones is on page 48 of the catalog. There are some samples right there. It includes a bag of bones stamp set and dies. And here are those fabulous glow in the dark embellishments. We also have glow in the dark specialty paper. Boo. I filmed this video far in advance of when it would be shared with you. So my current host code has changed from, from the one that's listed on the screen. But go to my blog at superawesomestamper.com and look for these icons if you'd like to place a new product order. So click on the appropriate icon and if you click on the host code, your product order will be linked to that host code. And I will email you a PDF as a thank you for using that host code. If your order is greater than $150, excluding shipping and tax, don't use a host code, but still remain shopping with me. I'll email you the PDF idea file if you have an order that's greater than $150. I appreciate your online orders so much for supporting my independent business. Thank you. My next program to share with you is the Simple Specialty Samples, which is a monthly PDF idea file emailed to you. So in that file, we've got a simple, simple fancy fold or just some unusual treatment to the front of your card. Like this one was an unusual treatment to the front of the card. Quick and fabulous. We can use the scraps up on that one. This one was the collar fold. Quick and fabulous using one piece of pattern paper. This is the book binder. So this is the feature for September. And then those two we've already done. This is an upcoming one. So it's called Simple Specialty Samples. I occasionally mix these in with my kits in the mail or I give them to you if you are a team member or if you have a super fabulous order that I need to share with. Share a little something extra with you. So that's called Simple Specialty Samples. Look for this icon on my blog at superawesomestamper.com. If you'd like more information about what it means to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you can also contact me to learn what, it, what I do to support you as a demonstrator on my team. Demonstrators on my Super Awesome Stampers team receives all the PDF tutorials that I've been telling you about during this video. Yay! This is the All About Autumn 6 by 6 inch designer series paper. Features 12 patterns. They're double-sided, so you get 48 sheets total in the package, four of each sheet. They would coordinate perfectly with these adhesive back speckled dots. Look for this icon on my Super Awesome Stamper blog for more details on registering for my online retreat for World Card Making Day. All right, thanks for stamping with me. I appreciate your support of my independent Stampin' Up! business, and we will stamp with you soon. Bye.